beautiful. She's different. She's not long. She's not short. She's not pixie. She's not chopped. She's not edgy. She's, she's very feminine. And this is Michelle. She is from the new La Vivid collection sent to me by Uniwigs for review. Isn't she lovely? I think that she is very, very believable. She's very light on my head. She has very nice layers that frame, frame your face. There's no permities. She's not poofy. Her hair is very believable. The hair was created to look and act like human hair. It has a natural shine to it. You can use a, a heat device up to 300 degrees on this wig. So if you don't like these, these um, flips here, you certainly could train it to go back underneath as I did on this side over here. She is very, very light on the head, though they did not give me the specifications on how much she weighs, but she's very, very comfortable. I think very believable, very believable, especially if a lot of times we get these wigs and they're bobs and they're, they're just bobs and we just get really tired of bobs sometimes, don't we? But this color is very unique, that GRP, G means gradient, R means rooted. I love a rooted wig because they, they always feel more believable, look more believable, and P is. Okay, now I just have to jump in here for a moment with a color correction. The color is P like Peter, G like George, R like Richard. It is not G R P. I had it I had it backwards. So I guess I must have needed a cup of coffee there or something, but I did want to make that correction for you. The P comes from the word believe it or not, it comes from the word piano, meaning the color is as long as a piano key. And I imagine what they're meaning is the root color is as long as a piano key. In other words, it's not just a, a, a tiny little piece of darkness. It's, it's, it's a long piano key rooted wig. So I think you're gonna really like Michelle. She's different. She's not long. She's not short. She's not pixie. She's not chopped. She's not edgy. She's, she's very feminine. Now, as I'm looking in the monitor, I see, I don't know what you see, but she feels more warm to me than cool. And let me tell you what I mean by that. She feels more warm than cool. So here's what I mean by that. Now here is, is this Belinda? Or is this a topper? No, this is one of my toppers. This topper is in the color 60. 60 is white with no other colors in there. Look how white she is. So if we hold the color 60 next to this, this one looks a little yellow, doesn't she? However, she has, for, for you ladies who are like me and you like to have more brightness and whiteness to you know, lighten up your face, um, this wig, Michelle, again, I can get away with this because she has enough of the white in her, but she certainly is different, right? She certainly is different than this topper. Okay, so let's take a look at the underside of Michelle, the actual wig cap construction. As you can see, she comes packed with some tissue paper so that she keeps her shape in the box. And then you see there the hair netting that's carefully placed around all the hair fibers so that they stay intact during shipment. And now I'm just taking off her label and getting ready to show you the underside of the cap. Well, look at those, look at the silkiness of that hair. Oh, it really does look like human hair. It has a, a very natural shine to it, but it's not shiny, plasticky shiny, like you see on a doll set or something. 
So there is the, um, the wig cap. You can see it has the monofilament right there. So you can part the hair down the middle, on the left side, on the right side. She even has three combs sewn in her so that you can help secure her to your head. Uh, she has the ear tabs there. The ear tabs are, oh, as you see, they've got silicone over them. So if you do not have any hair, those ear tabs are going to grab right to your scalp. She's got the bra strap type adjuster to make her looser or tighter. There's another comb. And there's the other bra strap type adjuster there. She's kind of stretchy, not super stretchy, but there is some there is some give to her. And there again, you can see the monofilament on the top of the cap. And I like to shake her so that you can see how truly hair-like and silky she is. She has very fine uh, fibers. And then look at the uh, look at the the parting. It's very natural looking, and I wanted to bring it right up to the camera lens so that you could see. When it's on the head, it looks like the hair is growing right out of your scalp, and it also looks like the hair is growing right out of the base of your neck. Very, very natural looking. I wanted to talk for a moment about Michelle, how she looks when she comes right out of the box. You'll notice that those bangs or the fringe looks pretty sparse, but it's really not. As you can see, when I put her on, I was able to do a lot with those bangs and with that fringe. They look very full. And also remember that she has a fully hand-tied monofilament top and a lace cap. like give it a like hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell icon so every time I upload you'll get a little notification and remember take good care of you take good care of the inside of you and take good care of that crown of glory thanks so much for watching